Hi, and welcome again with Umbraco Tutorials, part 5. So, as we said in the last video, today we'll try to continue on the about page. Uh, we'll try something today a bit harder, but it will be, uh, let's say, the beginning for something more harder. So, we'll try to implement today, as we said, if you go to about page, uh, what we have in about page we have done this part we have done the URLs with the uh, image here I think even the banner uh, I was thinking this one so I decide to do this shifts to be it will be exactly similar to the recipe here but we'll try to do this one today this way we'll do it in another normal and easy way and maybe in the future we can when we'll start to learn how to the micro do the macros so we'll do this one as a macro and we'll see what's the benefit of using macros so uh, the first things things is we need to go to uh, to do to do this page or to do this stuff here uh, how to do our shifts so we can uh, pages we need to go to uh, settings from settings we go to document types in the document types here we'll add two document types one of them will call it chef and the second one will be group of chefs to be uh, inside so we'll, we'll do as a tree chefs under the shifts we can add as much as we want as ch a child for this uh, chefs so how we do that one we go first of all we can add uh, let's add chef only at the beginning so we'll go we get a new document we'll call it chef uh this page will be or oh, let's say uh this page for adding new chef we can say we can go color and we can go only one single person here so uh if you just save after that we can add the groups so in the groups here uh, what we can do in the group we need to open our uh, template to see what we have here so we have image we have chef name we have the chef position we have the bio and we have here the four links uh, we'll try to leave it simple as much as we can so first things we can add here at the group we can call it a content so on this content the first things we can add is the chef uh, photo okay uh, we can say uh, media picker mid single media picker we can choose media picker why this one so we can go to use so we can here we have the something can use exist i will use the exist one i will generate to generate a new one you can choose my typical here and this one it will be mandatory because we need to can put it without oh we can yes or no but i think no it should not be mandatory so uh, what we can add more as we said there we have let's say the name call it shift Okay, well, this will be simple, string only, string, okay, we need this one, so let's say okay, after that we can say the position, and we say here, chef position, So we add something called uh, string to here. Okay. And so it's string only. We can say submit now to. 
and we can add what we have here we have the bio let's say chief uh, bio bio we can leave it only string at the moment so let's say why is not showing everything here set ring So after this one, we have, oh yeah, the links. We have, this one we can make it difficult and we can make it easy. It's depend on us. We can, uh, let's suppose if they don't have all of this stuff or, okay, let's at the beginning, let's do as is here, how, how all of them, they should have four links. In the future, when we, uh, convert it to uh, macro we can say they can choose there the icon and what they need to add as, as link but now let's put as on URL that will be fine for us now so let's say uh, FB first one which one yeah Twitter uh, profile link so I will say just uh, set ring and this one should be as a link okay I think second one should be FB FB profile link same it will be set ring come on same link with us here and we have google plus no more google plus let's call it google pro file and it will be set ring Last one to be an Instagram. Instagram. Uh, profile link. An Instagram. So to be string. And our URL. That's great. Let's save it. So now we have done the chief uh, page. Everything we need to add it for each one. So as I said to you, this one maybe in the future we can change them as enhancement. We can say, I don't want to add all this stuff. Maybe they have uh, FB, maybe they don't have. So we can say to them, add the icon, add the title. So it will be, it will be easier and better. It will be more dynamic, I think. So uh, the second thing is we need now to add a new document type. Uh, this one will be the sheaves. So that one will contain all the sheaf. So first thing we call it sheaves. And we can pick color and we said this will be multi. So let's put this icon. Uh, this page will contain Ah, what happened? Oh. Like a second. I don't want this one. Let's see here. This page contain all the chiefs. Okay, nice. So first thing we need here on this page will have. As you see here, they display only four items. So we'll give this uh, ability to choose how many items they need to display. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe four, maybe more. So make it more dynamic. So let's say here settings. Uh, what you can add in the settings. Uh, let's say Jeeves page. 
and the other set ring here set ring okay with the title okay and um, uh, let's say here a number of chiefs so this one will be uh, how many person need to display so let's say slide or maybe yeah so let's choose this one it's slider uh, this slider I'll show you what's with this slider here and submit here it already will start from one don't need to start zero and will uh, will be let's say I just need to show you the properties for this one what's mean here uh, just slider same any HTML slider will start from one and will be the minimum one and how many maximum ten you can put as much as you want and they will jump tip uh, to increment it it's one 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 only so uh, this one here we have it already here nice so uh, what we need to add more I think that's it. The second important thing is so I need to be this page, it's parent for the, the chief. So I go back to list, I need to display it as a list. After that, I said your children will be this one, and I save it. After that, what we'll do here, uh, we can add the chief under home, get the, this one saving. Let's go to home page. In the home page, we need to go to permissions. I need to add the chiefs. Let's save this one. So, I think this is the hardest things we do. So, let's go now jump to the browser page. So, where this one will be displayed? Uh, as I said, macro will be maybe next for us but now we need to display it in the about page only so I will not do it complicated we'll do it in easy way too so what we need here we add this one here and let's generate the models generate my models here and after generate the models we'll go back to our uh, razor page let's close this one how to find the models I'll show you I think we have done it in the previous uh, videos. Uh, let's just finish this one. Generated code. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Great. So if we go to our models, uh, I'll just include the files again. I'll find this one and this one. I will uh, include them in the project to be easy to read it from. The views I will include this one here I will not use anything currently but in the future will be maybe we'll use something in this pages but just add them to the project so uh, where I am now I am in the about page so I will go to the section where I have my I can't run it now I'll just leave it run it's better for me to see and check everything so we'll go to the uh, chef here and we go to the first one will be so we are in our shifts here so we have this row inside this row we have four columns uh, this let's leave this one and did it this one oh. oh my god where is it okay here. so let's do it this one this one here too I don't need it and I don't need this one so I will leave just one of them to be always this one generate same code and this one so but how to fetch the data from mass from chiefs page and how to get the children from there so what we'll do we'll go to the top of this page and write a small code to 
get for me the uh, chiefs as you see here I am in the about page I get about page as a model it's very easy to get the about but how to get something different uh, or something from some the root from the page of the page from but different uh, child so what I can say here I can say chiefs equal uh, it will be model I will go to the root of the page in the root of the page I said give me all your children not inside it yep here give me all the children but what I'm interesting about I need just the x equal x dot is document type of this type it will be my chief this is the name I have uh, named it in my document type so give me that first or default so now I have in my hand the chiefs all of them how many there I add to be one two three four as much as we add there they will be hand, uh, handed in this one so how I can get the data and display it in this one so what I will do here I will add razor code so on this razor code what I will add here I will add just uh, for each let's say for each so this for each will say here I will say uh, but yeah let's say oh, first of all we need the chiefs so I get this chiefs but I need all the children of this chiefs but I can I can leave this one as var but a better to use because uh, I know what I'm getting here so I can say content uh, yeah content models this one dot should be chief so here I just I cast it not this one not only casting just like this so I know my chiefs is coming as one item here that's a great uh, let's include everything I need to be inside this one so depend on the number I have add they will duplicate this one so how I get the now the name of this the first the first child what I said I said add item that uh, if you remember we call the name uh, I think chief name I go to the position but I can call it here same uh, at item dot chief position and the bio at item where I am yeah dot uh, chief bio the links same easy and simple at item dot uh, this one we call it uh, yeah twitter one item dot twitter link and same here item dot fb fb link and this one will be the item that uh, this will be google one uh, last one will be the insta that's fantastic so what we'll do now if i back to my uh, back office sorry so in that back office now I'll add my uh, chiefs I will add at the beginning maybe just one to test it how is it after that we can add the rest and we check how many one in the page we need so just we go to the uh, content page and we add the uh, chiefs page under the home page so if I go to home page now I 
I can just say add the chiefs. So here, just I give I give the name. Why I give how many chiefs I want to display? Chiefs, chiefs two. So how many did this display? At the beginning, let's say uh, two only. I save this one. So after that, we I can add now how many person I need. So I can press here on the chiefs now. I choose this one. Uh, yeah. Let's say I love it then. I can choose at the beginning any photo. Uh, let's say this one. Yeah. Selected. So I then positions. Uh, C E. O A. Oh, that's just me. I'm copy maybe real data from the me, uh, real forum better. So this uh, local copy. So we'll copy the name of the chef here. Where's my? Yeah, I am here. So I will say the chef name. His position. Yeah, I see you. And uh, bio uh, links that copy any things. Okay, let's save this one. We can add this lady too. Oh, let's just start from here, no problem. Uh, so, again, we can go here, we can add a new item again. So we copy the name, we can put it there. The name and this one and the position is chef. And the bio is this one. Any links and we can do the ready now. We can create a new item again. Let's give the name and the position head of shift. There we are. Bio any link I forgot to add the images uh, let me go to the style so I will add this one uh, let's let me add photo for the shift so it will be this one Just drag and drop the image to be uploaded and choose this one, select, save. Uh, let's add one more new. I think we have one more here, this one. This one here, and this one here. His position, same PF. Bio. Link. Uh, let's add his image. This photo here, uh, I don't know which one. Let's make sure, yeah, this one. I believe now we have four now, four of them. 
so what we can check again uh, so let me just check how many we have now we just press on shifts it will show or display to you how many we have now and so I think I forgot one of them I think Luca need to add a uh, photo if we check which one look at smiley one this one Now we're back to about page and they see how they are displayed there. About go to info and go to about page. At the same time I need to just open uh, this one to show you one more thing too. Just while loading this one. If I go content, so don't forget this one. Uh, I should display only two now. But if I go to my shifts, I found for yeah, I forgot to change the image. So still we have the default one here. I need to say at item that I think we call it chef photo that URL. So I'll get the URL of the each photo here. So if I refresh it should be yeah that's great but here still there are four how we can get this value so I, I ask for two so what I need to change here I can do it straight away on my for each uh, where is the for each yeah it should be here uh, yeah this one so I can say just take so how many one num how many shape I need to take depend on the uh, on the shifts dot number uh, num oh, I don't have it let me check again shifts dot it should be number of the shifts here uh, let me check it one more time in the page yeah it should be this one now displayed there so I just I think I need to cast this one to cheese here let's say uh, model yeah it was uh, content models dot uh, cheese so now this one will be cheese here and if I back to my where is it I can say here dot number of chiefs but unfortunately this one is coming uh, as decimal I don't know why but you can say convert dot to n32 cost take take only n32 so let's save this one and we can back to our page we say refresh here should display only to Aya. Ah, yeah. Great. So it's just two. If I bag here, I said I need three. Okay. Uh, after we save this one, we can back to our template or to our website here. We can say refresh the page. Yeah. And let's go here again. If we refresh that, we'll display three. So that's, I think, what they call it flexible and dynamic. And this one of the feature of Ambraco you can get it very easy and very simple so uh, I think I will end this video it's 13 minutes too long uh, next video I don't, I'm not plan for the next video but maybe it will create this as a macro or we can do the maybe which change the mood a bit to maybe can create a MVC model for or to send mail or send something like that you can do Anyway, see you in the next video.